Hello there. I want to talk to you about refreshing a straight razor. Uh, as you shave with a straight razor, the edge will begin to degrade. It's normal. Uh, you can use stropping to help extend that. In other words, to keep the razor sharper longer, but eventually you'll need to refresh a razor. In other words, bring it back up to a sharper edge. Now you can do this by purchasing something like the Nanoa Superstone 12K, that's, that's 80 or 90 bucks, uh, and use that stone to refresh your razor with. If you can afford that, then uh, that's a good idea. But just to maintain your razor, so that it stays shave ready for a long time. They make a product called chromium oxide paste. This is from Maggot Razors. Uh, it comes in a paste. Now they make sprays and all kind of stuff too. It comes in a paste. Now they also sell chromium oxide paste at hardware stores. Uh, Harbor Freight. That kind of deal. They sell it in a stick form. Do not use that type of chromium oxide on a straight razor. It is not designed for it. It's not fine enough. The particles are not even enough. It will damage the edge of your straight razor. Get chromium oxide paste or chromium oxide stick or a chromium oxide spray from a reputable vendor of straight razor shaving goods. Don't get it anywhere else. Buy it from Maggots, buy it from Bulgoose, buy it from West Coast Shaving, buy it from uh, any number of vendors. Wild West Shaving might even have it, I'm not sure. But any number of vendors out there that cater to our community have decent straight razor chromium oxide and that is what you use. Now most people have one strop and they'll take their strop and it has a leather component and a cloth component. This one came to me just as a piece of leather and I put this on here. This is an old canvas belt like the Boy Scout belts or the old canvas military belts. I paid two dollars for the belt at uh, Goodwill and uh, put it on this. Of course you can see it still has a buckle that I'm using as a handle to uh, to hold it out. But what most people will do is down on the inside of their cloth component they'll put the chromium oxide paste. And that's what I did with this one many years ago when I first started shaving. This was my first decent strop. What I would recommend to you is to go find one of these old cotton belts from uh, the th a thrift store, Goodwill, someplace like that. Buy that, cut it to the length that you want, and at Kmart or, or Walmart or any number of places, the fabric uh, section of their store will have a tape that you can used to fuse cloth together. I would get me a D-ring and I would flip that cloth over and fuse it together with that tape with an iron. You iron it and it fuses it together and I would put the chromium oxide on that and use it as a separate strap. And the reason being, if you look, there's chromium oxide all over the inside of that leather. I don't like that. I think it risks contamination and all kinds of things. And these are cheap. But if you want to put it on the back side of your cloth component, many people do. I'm just giving you an, you an option. But what you would do is about once every week, you would take this, set that aside, and simply
about 10 passes on the cloth. Take some toilet paper. Watch your fingers. Pinch the blade between your fingers. And wipe it clean. Wipe the spine. Be careful when you're doing that, your hand don't slip and slice you. Wipe the spine. It's because you don't want the chromium oxide contamination on the cloth side. However many you want to do on the cloth. Uh, for this purpose, I would do about 40 on the cloth and about 80 on the leather strop and shave. Do that every week. It will help your razor to stay nice and sharp and shave ready for you for a very long time. Don't do more than about 10 passes. 7 to 10 passes on that chromium oxide is plenty to refresh your straight razor. If you do too much, it will make it the shave harsh and you won't like it. So, But there's a place for this paste. People go, oh, don't use chromium oxide on your... Well, whatever. Uh, that's a bunch of hunters that want you to send your razor to them every three months and have it honed. Okay? Uh... Used, used properly, you can maintain your straight razor's edge for a very long time before you have to pay somebody 30 bucks plus shipping to re -hone, refresh your razor. Alright, bless you. I'll talk to you later.